Welcome everybody to Blind Photo Critiques. This is the hour where we all put on blindfolds and we look at photos. Okay, so it's, it's actually interesting, you know, the, what you can see when you don't see anything. It's, oh, dude, that's like... You just kind of you feel your way Yes, you feel the photo. Can you guys hear me? Is that a good idea? No. no. I don't think we can hear you. Did you turn your microphone on? No, we wanted that. Yeah, we want that because we, we have a little surprise. This in addition surprise. to my earpiece. We have a little surprise. So. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have people here, too. We should, we should yeah, talk to is, them. All right. So here. let me introduce very quickly my, uh, the people on the panel. With me over on my left here is Trey Ratcliffe. Everybody give a hand, round of applause for Trey. No need, no need to clap. Thank you. But we love you. <laughs> and then over on my right-hand side is R.C. Concepcion. Hey, everybody. How are you? So, real quick show of hands. Has anybody, has anybody seen the, the, the blind photo critiques before? We do it on one of our talk shows called The Grid. Okay, so almost all of you have, have seen some form of this before. I won't spend a whole lot of time explaining it. Kind of just go over a little bit of the, the ground rules of, of how we do this. Um, we kind of we just tell you how we feel about a photo. All right? And you'll notice there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of love. And I, and I don't say that in a bad way. I say it, it's, not, it's not an hour spent, oh God, this is great. You know, put, put your photos on Flickr if you want to do that. Um, it's, not, it's not meant about that. It's really meant to just kind of help you guys get an idea of what, where your photos can be helped. One of the things that I can tell you, and, and, and anybody, I know RC has taught workshops before. Trey, you've taught a couple of workshops before. And the workshops that I've done before, we do photo critiques. And what I find is that, A, it's one of the most valuable part of the workshops for people. Not just because you got your photos critiqued, but because you watched other people have their photos critiqued. And that's, that's one of the most valuable things out there. And in a little while, you'll start to be able to say what we're going to say. I think you'll find you notice that. And I, th I think that the, the, part that's, the part that's a little bit of a pain about it is, as photographers, like we'll go out and we'll shoot, but we don't... We want to get better about it, but we don't want to go through the pain. It's like, I'd love to have a six pack, but I hate sit ups. You know, it's like, I, <laughs> I mean, thought I you meant beer. No, I don't really, I don't mean, I don't mean. You had that last night. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's, I, I, I don't like sit ups. But, but the thing is, so nobody, and, and we mean well with it, but it's hard to hear criticism. We want it, but at the same time, we're like, all right, well, tell me what you really think about this picture. And you're like, Ugh. Just tell me. Yeah. And in an environment where that's how you're going to grow. So a lot of the times when you get into a, when you get into a session, and it happens all the time, it happens everywhere, where somebody will give you a really, really good image, and we do it now. I'll put my images out there now, and I had to do like a, like a book, right? And I had to take 30 images, and I had to bring them down to like 10. And I put them out in front of somebody that I trust, and I said, uh, hey, tell me what you think. Can you pick these 10 images? And they were like, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I love that is, photo. But, but, but what about that one? Yeah. And, and it was like, no, that's just, you know, so-and-so. That means nothing yeah. to somebody. And I'm like, that's some cold stuff. <laughs> so, but, but that's what happens. And, and, and you need that to some degree. You need that so that you can turn around and actually focus a little bit better about what it is that you want to do. Yeah. And, and I, think, I think in the end... Um, it, it helps us grow. One of the things that's good about this is they're blind. Blind meaning you won't know whose photos they are. So only the person that's sitting out there, if, if you happen to be sitting out there, will actually know. But not everybody's going to be able to point straight to that person and say it's, it's right. their photos. Unless so. they have an awful watermark and a terrible which, font. Which, which does happen. All right. So let's, let's just go ahead and start off here. We usually have generally between three to five photos per person here. So here, here's what I'll do. I'll run, through, I'll run through the batch of photos real quick, and then we'll come back to the beginning. Oh, and while you're doing this, I also want to, I also want to talk to you guys. If, if you're going out, and, and obviously there's people that do this as a hobby. There's obviously that, you know, people are doing this for fun, and that's all well and good. But if you're doing this to some professional level, some sort of marketing level, and you're looking at that kind of stuff, you, we've spent three times more than you normally would getting a portfolio review done on those images. So, like, Matt, go to the very beginning real quick. This is, this is normally how you would see the pictures. How, if you gave it to somebody to review, they'd go, uh, uh. Oh, okay, good. Uh, um, yeah. Um, uh, okay. And 
We, we, try, we, try to give, we try to give a little bit of information on, on what we like and don't like, but as, as Scott said yesterday, and you know, Che was here with us yesterday, as Scott said yesterday, sometimes you just don't like it. You, you can't necessarily put into words what you don't like about it, but you look at it and you just don't like it. So I'll start, I'll start, I'll start this one off. Um, bad light. It's just, you know, there, if you're going to go outdoors and photograph, and, and I'm, I'm taking, you know, documentary and, and photojournalism out of that and street photography. If you're going to go out and you're going to try to photograph streetscapes and landscapes, there, there's, there's two times a day to do it. Sunrise and sunset. That's an HDR too. Isn't it true? It's... It looks, I concur. It looks juiced. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so, so, so now so it gets two different types of critiques, right? So it's like the first part of it is you don't like it because it's the wrong time of day, but then it's like the person tried to do an HDR, and then how do you, you know, yeah, where, where does I it mean, fall they, on the HDR side? There's just a, there's, there's a ton going on. Trey, I, I don't tell know. us where it falls on the HDR side. Yeah, well, uh, by the way, of all these photos, I know I really love that last one of yeah. Lombard Street. Uh, that's a successful photo. I think all the other four photos fail in some respect. Yeah. That one is, is wonderful. Um, this one, there's, there's a little too much going on. It's too busy. Um, it ju it's just feels busy. It doesn't feel... Yeah. I, I don't know. There's something just chaotic about it. I feel uh, uneasy yeah. when I look at it. And not uneasy in an artistic, interesting way. Just... I want it to go away. Yeah. And you, and you know what would, have, you, what would have helped this picture, like, to make it a little bit better? I usually tell people, when you're shooting in the middle of the day, the worst part of the day is above you. Right? In the middle of the day, clouds, all of that kind of stuff is really, really bad. Had this person focused on doing that same HDR, maybe gone into those rocks and gone a little bit lower, the perspective would have been very, very different. You know, the, the pylons under, the, under that, whatever that thing is, would have been the focus of the image, and maybe a reflected city, a reflected yeah, background. That's a, a really good idea. If they got down low, they would have a lot more white space with just the water and the sky, and there would, there would be something to break it up. Yeah. Just, they could have worked the scene better. Yeah. So. All right. Coins. It's coins. Um, uh, it's, it's weird. Weird, yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, the... the I mean, it's what's, I, it, it, you, you could have worked. There might have been a shot here. I, I don't really know this area, but it's, it's a cool building. Yeah, the building is the focus of the shot. However, there's something that's dead center at the bottom of the middle of it. So it's almost like I call this top of car. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it, uh, it's, it's like, oh, okay, well, it's there. But the most interesting part about, like, what's the most interesting part about this picture? Is it the big tower? Is it the fact that the sun's coming through? Yeah, right time of day. That's, it, right that time of day, right. you're kind of you're kind of there. Uh, this was a Trey Ratcliffe trick, and it's kind of weird to talk about you when you're like right there. But the the you yellows, oh my god, Trey's here. <laughs> the yellows look weird. Oh yeah, it's almost kind of like they need to be toned down a little bit. Yes, yeah. it's um, so it's just yeah. weird. So, here here's here's a tip for you: Border Patrol. Okay, when Where? you. When you take a photo, <laughs> <laughs> take it. That's good. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. When <laughs> just a, just a little uncomfortable. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you take a photo, um, whether it's in camera or out, you know, I, I understand sometimes this can't be done in camera. But when when you're going to crop your photo, you got to look around the borders. That's that's bad. Up here, eh, yeah, I'd, I'd still try to do something to, to get rid of it. But border patrol, look around your borders, top of a car, people cut off, kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Bad light. Yeah, that's a great location, yeah, but that's just, a night location. With the, you you want to see the streaming car. It's maybe during a sunset or something, but it just feels washed out. Is there no cars on it? There's no cars on it. So it, it could have been right after sunrise, early in the morning, but it was a blah sunrise. I mean, if you look at what's up there. So just yeah. bad light. Yeah. Um, my Perfect. favorite one of the, yeah. my favorite one Love of the it. group. Smart. Very, very smartly executed. The, co the blues at the very, very top are a, little, are a little surreal. You probably could have played with the color there, either desaturated or try to go into a different hue a little bit. 
But for the most part, like if it were me, what I would have done is you see above those pink lines at the very, very top of it. So if you go, uh, Matt, so go over to the top of the pink streak, mm -hmm. uh, right here. So you see this blue that's right there? I would have made sure that this color that's at the very, very top matched yeah. that blue a little bit. So it kind of would have given a little bit more consistency. It would, the palette would have been kind of very, very yeah. close. But I mean, it's, that's a great lead. Yeah. That's a very well executed shot. Only thing I might, I might come in here and do, just be. Oh yeah, okay. Just kinda. And see, and this is the part that, oh, this is the part that also sucks and it's something that I think that you guys need to take away from this when you're working with this is, I see, we see this all the time when it comes to portfolios this person will put all four of these together inside of one shot. And it's like, well, tell me what you think of me as a photographer. And then you go, oh, eh, eh, almost, yeah. But what's the overall experience like? Yeah, eh. he's, he's got some pretty good shots. So here, here's, what I'll, here's what I'll say. I'll give this person to, to close up. They've at least, other than this photo here, this, this one doesn't fit, but they've at least got a general theme Mm -hmm. that I can say what they like to shoot. The coins mm -hmm. don't quite fit in there. But, well, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more. But there, it's kind of, you know, shooting the same similar things across the board. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I like this one a lot. So, so to me, I mean, there are a couple of things I like about it. I love, for, so, landscapes, foreground. Foreground is huge for landscapes. It's, it's very difficult to, to get yourself in front of a, a, a glassy lake and you have a mountain reflection in the lake and you take a picture of the lake and the glassy reflection. It's a, it's, by no, it's a great photo, but for me personally, foreground puts me there. So he's down, he or she is down low, wide angle lens, and it's like, I feel like I'm there, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, foreground, I like the motion, sunset, right time of day. Trey? Um, I kind of like it. Uh, the sky doesn't really work for me because it's a, it's a very strange set of blues. Uh, there's something, you know, it's, it's HDR yeah. uh, for sure. You can see that because the water, the, the w white crashing waves are not white, they're blue. That happens with HDR. And you can, many ways to fix that. That doesn't really bother me so much as the, that sky just has a gray mm -hmm. cast on top of it. Um, and that's the only part that I, yeah. I don't really like. And it, it's, you know, the, what would make this better would have been a, a, nice, a nice sunset sky that night, but depending on where well, he didn't where have the clouds, was, what can yeah. you do? So this or, is about the best. But one of the things you can do yeah. to fix that is, is you can do your tone map version on a layer, and then you open up one of the original yes. exposures. That's what I would have done. And you go in and you select the sky out yes. so you don't, you don't tone map your sky and get, get right. that weird weirdness that's going on yes. there. I, I, I don't like the sun. I, I, not in general. I mean, the sun's nice. <laughs> but it's... I, it, I hate shooting at the sun. I hate shooting at the sun because it's like everybody's looking at it. Stop looking at the sun. You can't. See, see you know what? I, I, I disagree. Me too. I, I like shooting into the I, sun. I think it's fine. I think the sun should either be right in the center or kind of off to yeah. the side. Right now it's just a little bit off its center. It's a little bit... So, but so this is a I like the color that the sun gives me, but I don't like the sun itself. I, so... <laughs> I, but if you could have put it behind, no, no, I'm saying like if you would have left it like in the, those nice yellows and oranges, but hid the sun behind a rock or done something, you yeah. would have had the same color palette without the big white specular spot in the very, very center of the picture that makes you look at it and just be like mole. It's okay. Like, you're just, you're just Let me tell you why I like the sun. I like the sun because it specifies a moment in time. Okay. It's, it's a okay. moment in time that's caught. For a static photo. So you got, the, you got the water in here, which makes the photo less static. But well, I like to include the sun in my photos. And, and the, what I would have done to, to fix this is I would have shot this at F22. And that would have given you the sun star. Because okay. right now it's just a big ball. It looks like we're in you know, the, the desert. It's just a big ball of, uh, of, of white. Um, but F22 would give you that nice little sun star. And I would have waited. I would have waited until that sun 
was just about to go down over the water at F-22, and you'd get this beautiful little sun star, and you'd get that little flare coming out of it, but it's a moment in time. It's like you were there at the perfect moment in time when you see that sun there. And that, that to me, in, in landscapes, is one of the things I like. So, all right. RCO, you kick it off. Uh, the colors are weird. I mean, I like weird colors, but the colors are... Except the sun. Except the sun. The, the color, do the colors seem off to you guys? Uh, it's a very blue. I, don't, I like the colors. Okay. It's, I think it's okay. I don't like the middle third of the photo. It just feels, a, it feels like generic light. I know these are, this is the problem, of course, with shooting as a wide angle lens. Obviously, you use something very, or he or she used something very wide angle. And maybe that mountain is actually quite big and pronounced, but mm -hmm. it came out just very flat and plateau-like. Uh, but the clouds are nice. I think uh, the wide angle makes them all point inside. Uh, that's neat. I like the soft, fluffy grass in the foreground. Yep. I, think it's a, I think it's a pretty good photo. It's yeah. nice. It's yeah. both of these photos. You, nice. you, yeah. got, you got good subjects and the right time of day. I think they're both nice photos. Yeah. It's and then the you get this. And you're just like, was this that person and this person? It, see, it looks like two different. It looks like two different uh, people to me. What I like about this, and, and there's not much to it, but what I like about it is that it feels a little bit more arresting, right? Arresting. When you look at when you look at the when you look like at the person the other got two, arrested after they took it. No, 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 <laughs> no. Well, but good use. That's good. <laughs> um, no, but it was. But it's like the. I like calm feelings in pictures. I think that they're really, really cool. But that this is also something that this is also something that you guys got to keep in mind that it, you also have to make sure that the critiques that you get from people are very qualified, right? So you're going to find somebody that you're going to want to rank your work, and that person has to kind of sit in the same space as you do. I'm a very, very, uh, I'm a very, I, I'm not a very calm person by nature. I, it sounds it, but I'm not. I like shooting very, very intense things. I look at art and I look at photography and I like having a very, very kind of in your face kind of environment. Serene for me feels like, you know, doctor's office, dentist office kind of thing. And that's what the first two pictures were like. We're just like, they were nice, this was okay. At least this kind of makes you, the moment you see it, it makes you go, uh, and then it falls apart. Because, you know, the sky looks a little weird and, and, and you know, it's like, eh. What time of day would you say this was shot? The wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put. <laughs> well, just look at the shadow. Yeah. Look at the shadow here and take a line straight up. I mean, the, the sun was pretty, pretty overhead. I, I you, think if the sky were different, there yeah. was sunset. Could you crop it? Like make it like that, that panoramic? The, you know, if it were a panoramic photo, it would be kind of cool, right? Uh, mm, it's, it's the wrong time of day. Like, like Trey said. I call those lemonade shots. No, no, go down, down, down. Forget this guy. Right? It's that, that's the lemonade shot. That's the, I can't believe that I got here and this is all I get. So I'm going to try to make a shot. Yeah. And then you try to slip it into a portfolio and people are like, what are you thinking? And no, like, cropping doesn't do it. Nah, I knew. It sucked. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, there goes Photoshop. I like that. I like that. I like that. Man, do we have a polar opposite panel today. <laughs> <laughs> RC, go. I, you know what? It, it feels very impressionistic. You can guarantee when one of us says we like it, the other one's going to say they don't. It, it, feels, it feels very impressionistic. It feels very... It feels very... It, it has a feeling when I look at these things. I think that these things have feelings, and they don't... Drunk. Yeah. Might, might feel. It could be. It could be. But, but see, and that's... And, and that's if you were to try to, you can't, you can't judge a waltz by, you know, a ballet. It's like this person's, this person's dancing ballet. You can't say, oh, well, you know, this is poor form and rank it on a waltz. So for what this person was trying to do, very impressionistic, very, very surreal, very, very painterly kinds of things, did they execute this well? And I think that they did execute this very, very well. If, if, if you judged it on that merit, you could say they're good shots. You may not like it because it's blurry and it's out of focus and you know, that kind of stuff, but 
Were they able to get the ball in the net? They were able to get the ball in the net very, very well. Trey, talk about the ball in the net. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know what the hell RC's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, usually, either when RC starts talking, either I have time to get a latte or I don't. That time I didn't. <laughs> I don't think these are so great. I think this one is kind of interesting because of the, the color seems more poppy. But, you know, there is this style of photography that many people like. And I am actually very empathetic to people that like this kind of photography because there's, there's something, you know, I think that people that like this kind of photography and that like rich colors like HDR, I have sort of a theory that people like this, this is, this is going to, I don't mean this to sound like a slam at all because I grew up with bad eyesight, but I think a lot of people grew up with really bad eyesight and the inability to focus, right? And you don't know this sometimes until you're older, like five, six, seven, eight, till you go to school, you're like, I can't see the chalkboard. And really, you've spent so much of your developmental life seeing things out of focus that mm -hmm. your brain really sees a lot of things out of focus. And it just, you know. Or she's so never this been is, to an eye doctor. No, but, could he, explain. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, it, it, it's, and, and in defense of this person, this is their represent, this is representation of art. And actually, you know what, why don't we do a quick poll? How many people like this? Raise your hands. How many people don't like this? Raise your hands. Right? About evenly split. And what happens is this. 60-40. This is... <laughs> It's just, when people take a look at this and they go blurry, a lot of the times I'm like, you just don't understand what they're doing. You know? All right. So and I, I'm not I think even going to stop this. I think, it's, I think it's pretty good. Okay. On the other hand. <laughs> take it away. Let, let's see the other ones. All right. That's right. Sorry. These are great. They're all, they're all oh. very interesting. Okay. This, <laughs> you don't like them? Mm -mm, not at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound really bad, and I know that. I know that the intention is meant well. But if there's one thing that I cannot stand, don't is us it. using subjects as target practice. I see it all the time in photography, and it's one of those things that really gets me. When you go out and you take street shots of homeless people. If you do not know that homeless person's story, if you do not know the environment and where they're put in, you don't make a portrait of this person, it's target practice. But maybe they, but hold on, hold it's, on. It's, it's I, a it looks like maybe they, they do know. They hung out with this tribe for a yeah, while. Maybe like they do me. know. I mean, do, do you think that guy in the tribe just said, oh yeah, you person with this weird camera, walk up and take a bad flash photo of me? I think it pretty much, I, yeah. I, I mean, you know, the guy in the tribe didn't know that this yeah. person doesn't know how to use a flash. <laughs> There's those there's those seventeen thousand dollar African safaris that you can go to, and they go, hey, tribal well, person, come stand in front right, of this camera. So, well, here, That's photo here's, collecting. Here, here's That's the not thing. photography. Here's the thing. We don't we don't know that story. So critiquing of the photo. So because t that's. You're assuming oh, that. Wait, 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 that, that wait, wait, no, do. But do we do know that story because he stood for a very poorly lit picture. All right. We don't know the story of whether he knows the the tribe's background and story. Okay. From a, from a photo perspective. Um, I, I think they just, they took a flash and just, bah, bah. Well, it, doesn't, it was off camera. It was flash. underlit. Let's look at the other ones. I, I don't think the lighting's so awful. That's I mean, I, much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. The, that was six inches. That's six inches of a difference. It's just very flat. This one's That's very flat. flat. That's not good. That's that one's the best one of the three. Absolutely. I think, I think that's just a little bit flashy. The light needed to come up about six more inches. Light needed to come up, and it needed to not be lighting his chest more than his face. This is getting a little Time magazine here. Man. A little bit warm, a little warmth on there. So, I don't know. But it's, it's, a, it's a little bit flashy. Mm. Anyway, uh, you guys are. I like think the second one. That's, a beautiful that's, that's shot. the strongest one. That's of the a beautiful three. shot. I love that shot. Strongest one of the three. All right. Oh gosh. Take it away, RC. <laughs> <laughs> good shot. For what it is, it's a good shot. That this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff is. 
is interesting. Look, this is what you would find in a hotel room. This is what you would find in an art gallery. These I, kinds of things, these kinds of things. Uh, and again, it goes back to the entire concept of, and maybe that's my problem. My pro maybe it's me. Maybe it's not the picture. Oh, it is you. But, <laughs> but what happens is a lot of the times when I see, like, I see a lot of landscape shots and I see the... I see landscape shots, like I, and I go out and I try them, and every time I try them, I, I see it almost as tantamount to photo collecting. It's like you go out to Big Sur, 3 o'clock in the morning, you get there, you put the tripod down, you go, okay, beautiful, click, that one's done. But what does that say about you as a photographer? All you're doing is trophy collecting, I think. It, there's no, there, what, is, what statement are you making about your photography in that space? So... I, I, and, and again, and, th and that's not good or bad or indifferent. That's not, that's not right or wrong either. It's just like photography, like guitar. There could be guitarists that play guitar for the sake of, you know, wanting to play on a concert stage. It could be guitarists that play guitar for wanting to get girls. There could be very different reasons for why you play guitar. There could be very different reasons for why you play photography. But I just think that they need to be ranked and gauged by those, you know, on, on the right reasons. So they're okay. They're good. They're not bad. I, I will say I like these better than that last set that we saw. I like the colorful one, that one. Yeah. This is... Um, it's neat. It's, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, it's quite interesting. What does it look like? It looks like a city street. Look at that. See? Art class right here with Magnus <laughs> All right. So, oh, we that's missed the last one. one. That, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of cool, too. Looks like a building under construction. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. <coughs> all right. I bet you we can agree on all of this. <laughs> Take it away, Matt. <laughs> Bad light. Thank you. It's just, it's, it's bright, it's all kinds of bright and bright. Kind of, it, it's kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. He's also an amputee, which I hate. I don't hate amputees, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be very, very careful about, you have to be very careful about joints. Well, you know right. what it is, is you got nothing here. Like, he's not, is he holding a briefcase? Is he holding a guitar? Is he holding a, a skateboard? I don't know. It's like that old portraiture where everybody's looking slightly to the left. Yeah, like what's over there? So, a but business uh, meeting. Take, take, take that away. You, huge, just blown out area over here. Huge blown out area over here. It's not it's, a nice it's, place. It's yeah. not a nice anything. I don't like the fact that her fingers are cut off. It's not a real... It looks out of context, right? High fashion in the middle of... Some street. Here's half of a car. Here's some sh some, some flowers. So, right. the color yeah. palette looks now, nice, but what's he, so here's what here's what you did right. Y this person understood part of part of part of the photo is the subject. Mm -hmm. You got to have an interesting subject. You can put all the right light. You can be at the right time with the right gear, and if you don't have an interesting subject, you're not going to get a good photo. He got a, a pretty interesting subject. I just think we we put him into. Is there a guy jogging back here? Yeah. It looks like you caught the fashion model as she was going home from the fashion show. Yeah. I like the light leak in that last one. And yeah. the photographer obviously knew the background wasn't, you know, anything to write home about. And so that's why they played with yeah. the light. I, I, I like that, that bit of it. Right. That looks like model mayhem. This is, like, is, this, is this on camera flash? Yeah. Uh, no. It could, be, it could be high camera. High and camera is this rise. a bullhorn coming in? Mm. Or is it a tail from a alligator? Is it a sculpture? Is it? She has a very uncomfortable that is, looking face. What is face. this? Is this is this her claw? <laughs> I mean, does she have a claw? She might. And it it that's just and and that's eyes and lips and no, they got to watch like Peter Hurley, Peter <laughs> they, because she has a yeah. very very constipated look. Take that aside, dude. The, her claws really bother bother me. Maybe because of the claw. This See? looks feels creepy. Is that the same girl? Because she doesn't have a claw in this one. She put the claw in the car. It looks, like, it looks like she's scratching her ankle. Yeah, it looks creepy. Like, it oh, looks my God. Similar. Everybody gets out of the car and reaches down to their ankle. It's like their, their holster gun that's in there. That's where she's hiding the claw. <laughs> that's where she's hiding the claw. That is. 
Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. All right. We saw this guy already. Is that a forlorn penguin? <laughs> it, it could be cool if we could see yeah, if the penguin didn't look headless. Is it headless or bowing down? I think it's bowing down. It's a sad penguin. But see, it's if very they crop... in interesting. I yeah. don't. At first, I thought that they had drawn like a cartoon stick figure there that was sad. Uh, but now I didn't even think penguin until you said penguin. But now, obviously, it's, I see it's a penguin. So what about if we did uh, that? Is it better? Oh. Yeah. I even liked it if you just took off that one upper right-hand corner. If you just took off that one right-hand corner where, um, where that building was or whatever that thing is, oh. if you went in there or content aware filled there or, or what have you, but that's a much tighter shot. That's a much better shot. Yeah. That person could have been limited by their lens at yeah. that point because they're so far but back, but that's a in. much stronger shot. But Wait, yeah, crop in. If you're, li yeah, if you're limited by it. your lens, crop in. Then they do this. Is that a penguin in the back there? <laughs> so, just bad, bad light and... It, it's just the light. It's messy. It's, yeah. Yeah. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. The, uh, it's like zebra love. Yeah. <laughs> which is... The zebra sutra. <laughs> <laughs> now... She's smiling. People see what they want to see, man. <laughs> but I'd like to point out that I saw it like under the G side. <laughs> Zero love is happy. He's like, they're getting it on. <laughs> Just can you crop it? Can you crop it uh, vertically? All I think, what's that movie? Madagascar? Madagascar. That's all I think. I got a three year old. No, no, no. Tight, 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 tight. Like. Dude, we, we can, dude, we can crop it. I don't, I don't know that it's, I don't know that cropping's the problem. It's not bad. It's, you know, it's, it, a, it's okay. It's a, it's a good animal photo. This is actually the reason I don't take animal photos is because I, there's so many amazing animal yeah. photographers. At best, I feel like maybe if I really work hard for several years, I might be able to equal what like a moose yeah. could do, a moose Peterson could Fair do. Point. And so that's, I haven't even ventured into that area yet because... Um, I, I would like to be very, very unique, and this is kind of unique. I guess there's a couple. Cropping helps it a lot because there, there is some action going on here. We don't know what kind of action, but it takes out all yeah. that. It takes out all that uh, that crap in the foreground, all the the, the the junky crap that's in the foreground and the, there. And the only reason that I said this, and this is what I would look at, like, if you want to look for like a picture in, in all of this, the only reason that I said the crop on the vertical thing was because I was looking at the spine of the zebra. The top spine of the zebra, when the zebra was kind of bending in, it almost kind of created that golden circle. Oh, gosh. So. We're talking about golden circles in, 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 in wildlife photography. It's, it's this thing that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll let you take this one, Trey. I think this one's kind of, uh, it's all right. Yeah. It's uh, an interesting subject. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's um, it's it's pretty good. I think the yeah. lighting's I think the lighting's okay. I have a feeling it's it's a relative, so that makes it you know special. Yeah. Um, in that person's world, it kind of tells a story, the, yeah. the look, the face, everything about it. It's kinda, it's, it's, so yeah, it's it's kind of nice. I, I like it. It's not at all like these other ones, but that's okay. I'm not yeah. one of these people that says you have to specialize. So, so if if you weren't here yesterday, one of the things we saw quite a bit were, you know, three totally different separate photos from somebody, much like, much like what you see here. Mm -hmm. You know, what, so what is this person? Um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent on it. Um, I know Trey, Trey, is, Trey is of the mindset of, hey, you know, oh gosh, my, sorry, my water bottle, I just felt something wet down here. I thought you were happy to see me. That was not Trey. <laughs> um, Trey, so Trey was of the mindset of, I, you know, I don't care. You know, shoot what you want. Whatever you happen to be happy about shooting, shoot. And don't worry yeah. about having to, to pigeonhole yourself into an area. Jeremy, 
Cowart was also on the panel with us, and Jeremy was very much of the mindset of stick with something. You know, you've got it. Like, are you going to be people? Are you going to be desert with footprints? Are you going to be architecture? Architecture and you know, outdoors. So, it's uh, like I said, I'm, the jury's out for me. But I, I like that photo. This photo doesn't do a whole lot for me. No, yeah. I have a feel. I've never been to this area. I really want to go, but I have a feeling this photo would be kind of easy to get if you're there. You could, you could. I see so I, many I photos like this. I could take like this and go like click, and I got that photo. It's not, you know. Usually, when you yeah. see photos like this, it's a pristine desert. There's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more side lighting going on. The sun is usually down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. But that's Jackson Square in New Orleans, I think. Uh, I think it's a nice picture. It, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's, that may be New Orleans. Uh, whatever it is, it, it, it's a nice portrait of it because I think that new, if it is New Orleans, I'm used to seeing New Orleans in a very, very seedy kind of way. I kind of like that this looks almost a little Disney-ish. I think it's okay. It could probably come in a little bit. Hey, I know dude. that if you come in a little bit, you're probably going to have a hard time with those. You were trying to include those color uh, boxes over there, trucks, whatever that is. Um, but it, it looks like help. trash, though. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't help your picture, so I would have just come in. Yeah, I would have I cloned those out or, or done yeah. something along the lines of... Some penguins in there, maybe. <laughs> penguins. <laughs> Hook it up. Yeah, yeah something like something that. Something in there. But, I mean, nice shot. Nice. Yeah, nice sky. The sky looks a little pasted in from another photo. It may not be, but it, it, that's the first thing that jumped into my mind. Like, oh, they did a really nice job masking in the sky. Um, nice just shot, a, but it's, it's so wet. It's nice. You know, the ground is so wet, and it's not even storm clouds. So. Oh yeah. All right, we got that, and we got that. Mm. Um, that's just. Mm. Yeah. No. You, you blown out sky. It, it's not. It's not. It's not a great location either. No. So it's not. It's not a great location, and it's not great light. No. So. I agree. I don't think it, I think the I think the clouds are really nice. I don't I don't see it as being blown out over there. The only problem is is I guess the, if you look up there, it's to me the problem is the the hyper blue of that mm -hmm. part. That's well, obviously it's night, so it won't be green, but maybe it should be black or it, that feels too HDR blown out blue over on the right. Yeah, but I, I like the symmetry and the reflection. It's not so bad. This is a fellow uh, Burning Man. That's what I was gonna guy. say. It's a Burning Man shot. I'm like. uh... No, that's kind of cool. I could see, I could see where you were going with what you were trying to execute, but it it just doesn't hold up. This is something like, like if you look at like shaky, blurry picture, or shaky, blurry flower, like you could tell that that's art intended the way that they wanted it to be intended. It's executed well. They were trying to do this here, but it did, it, it wasn't successful. So it's this yeah. is when you tried for the net and you missed it. It's not. I don't think it's very good. All right. Speaking of blurry. Great feeling emotion. And watermarks. Yeah. So everybody knows who this one is. Yeah. Great feeling emotion, yeah. Richard. Um, R Richard, if you want to do, I'm teaching a class on optimizing your images for the web, and I mean this sincerely. I'll teach you the best way to be able to do this, right? These feel like really, really cool pieces of art. I, I like this. I like the motion because this is what it feels. It feels very frenetic. It feels, you know, it has that kind of motion to it, right? It would look really dumb if the bicycle was frozen. It's like, how's she doing that? Staying on that? That's perfect <laughs> balance. It's a, so you feel what this feels like. This one, not so much. This one, maybe a little too much. That's a really nice shot. Yeah, I, I like that shot. I like that I shot, I like this too. one, too. This green, the green is very nice. Yeah. And the background is nice. There's a lot of thought that goes into this. A lot of people take blurry shots without a lot of thought. This mm -hmm. one is... No, I... But it looks like, so now back to your logo, right? Copyright, they put the letter C, get rid of the letter C. If you want to look like a much better photographer, people look at artwork, right? The best way for people to look at artwork, when people look at artwork and they see artwork as official, if you will, what do people look for? A signature, right? People see it as a signature. A signature is a sign of, I'm not playing. This is really, really nice. A text layer with a copyright signal symbol and aerial rounded shows 
a really bad layer. And it, it just re it doesn't look professional enough. Yeah. So, but if you were to do a logo type, just an actual signature, you know, or a derivative of that as a brand mark, copy, you don't have to tell people. I would bet you 20 to 1 that this person has not registered their images with the copyright office. And that's really the only thing the letter C is supposed to do. All right. So, I, and for me, I kind of like the people ones better. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I, I, they tell more of a story to me than, Agreed. than the little car that you really can't see anybody inside. But cool, a neat effect. Ah. That logo. Woo. The logo is actually kind of nice. They're Canadian. Get, yeah, so here. Get rid of papyrus. We, we, we don't want to, we, we don't want to spend, we don't want to spend our photo critique time on the logo, but you know what? All you need is that A, that AR or AP. That's all you need in there. That would, that's a nice little signature, but all that. That's aside, it. Except it does look like an out. AR. It does look like an AR. Yeah. If it looks like an mm -hmm. AR, then it doesn't work as a logo for you. It might work for somebody that does AR, but it might not work for AP. All right. Um, overexposed. Absolutely. So just way too bright. Yeah. Looks well, like the ring. Well, they did it on purpose, though. Clearly. They were going for like the ring. Um, like no, they were. Of... They were just like, going. They were going for that. <laughs> I know it took a while. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you had to think about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. creepy girl. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Um, Who farted? It's like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's... Eh. You got bad breath. There's no, yeah, there's no, there's no, I mean, yeah, they're yelling, but you expect there to be yelling in a baseball game to some degree. And it can't be that important of a game because no one's in the stands. Yeah, that, so, so that's, well, no. But that's, that's, that's my biggest critique on this. Yeah. Because if you, look at, if you look at sports photos, some of the most popular sports photos that get picked up on the wire and whatnot are not necessarily always the person diving for, for the ball. Some of the most popular sports photos are celebration and arguments. Arguments and fights. So they've got that here. It's just like Trey said, there's nobody in the stands in the back. Um, you know, here's a guy who looks like he's flossing. Trey, good shot. Good call, because I was like, what don't I like about it? What don't I like about yeah. it? And you're like, that there's no one it. in the stands. It, and I'm like, <gasps> if you yeah. put this, If you put a little more emotion into this, it's, it's an okay argument photo. It's not a great argument photo. Um, if, you put a, if there's a little bit more emotion and, and you know, in, a, in a better location, it, it'd be a better photo. That's kind That's of kinda cool. Yeah. <laughs> she looks a little sick. Yeah, yeah she's, she's so, a little... It's like zombie dunker. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dunking that could be dead. somebody's daughter out there. I'm sorry, your daughter's a zombie. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> she might come attack you at night. But it's just the, the execution of the shot. Like, if you look at yeah. the background, the shadow, that's a really nice yeah. shot. It's a little harsh on her face, which is giving it that kind of zombie look. I think that's post-processing. I think right, that, that looks like, does that look like a clarity or a detail slider or yeah. something like that? It could but be. It looks, it looks like that's post-processing. pretty cool. I wonder how she did it. I would like to know that. That's great. Because it looks pretty, because I know that girl wasn't hanging up there for holding the ball. There's no way. So it could be I don't composite. see a, maybe she took multiple photos and there was, she was on a ladder, right? And then she took the ladder away and um, uh -huh. it, Masked out the shadow. Lowered the basket. Lower the basket. Yeah. Is the no, person here? Well, because of the shadow. Look at the shadow. It's obviously up. Is the person here? Do you want to? We're going to out you. <laughs> not, nobody wants to say my daughter is a zombie, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Maybe it's a selfie. It's a hey. selfie. <laughs> I don't right. think she's a selfie. I think it's just bad luck. That's, you know, that's a great shot. That's almost there. Yeah. Bring back that effect on the face. That's an awesome hey, shot. Should we bring somebody up for the last 10 minutes? Sure. Guest, right. guest, guest photo critiquer. Does anybody want to come and hang out? Uh, just out of we want a guest photo you critiquer. Want to guest photo All right, critique? let's get the guy right up here in the front. I saw yeah. his All right, let's first. give him a big round of applause. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's going on, man? What's your name? Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, what's going on? I see you. Nice to meet you. Hey. That's Trey. That's RC. I'm Matt. Here, hold on to this. That's mm. Joe. No. Bob. So tell us where you're from. Tell us what you do. I'm from uh, Redwood City, California. Nice. Cool. What do you do? I'm a landscape and automotive photographer. Very cool. Were any of those pictures yours? No. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> landscape and automotive? Yes. Uh, what do you do for money? Um, I'm actually a volleyball instructor. Okay. I coach volleyball. Oh, cool. And I'm currently at uh, So what do you do for money? 
<laughs> <laughs> All right. Antonio, I'm going to show you three photos. One, two, three. What do you think? I like, I go to the one in the Open pier. It. I really like the colors in that one. That's awesome. Uh, I, the only thing I don't like is the halos going around the, the, the halos going around the top, but the colors are great. I love the... The, the overall colors. bad processing of the photo. Yeah. It, looks, it looks good, though. I, I think out of the three... Let it out. That's my favorite. <laughs> Go back to the, the red... Yeah. I do like the framing, the framing on the, the red door or window, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. I think that's nice. I think it looks like creepy, creepy branches going to red door. It's like, mm. I don't know. I agree with you Did, on the. So I agree with you on the cloud thing. It's just bad processing. To yeah. me, these are all three really bad examples of topaz adjust. I, I mean, that. it's it's just it's you, to me it's using that one. I don't know. Trey. Yeah, this one is overdone. Every color is. If there is a color, it's so saturated. It just you know it, it burns your eyes out. The the water is too green. Weird. The sky is not. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Radioactive just, down here. Yeah. All no, right. It's not very. Good. But I like the last one with the two tone and. Yeah. The, that's my favorite. There's, there's of the, something of the three. good happening there. This is an interesting see, look. See, this looks more to me. This looks more. Going for the art, going for the effect. Yeah. Where I these might have just look like off bad filters. The bottom third of that last one. Yeah. But. All right. We got We only have eight minutes left, so let's kind of. Pick it up. One. Two. Three. Oh. See, I, I, like, I like the contrast of the red and the blue. Yeah. That's a great contrast. I love the color combination. It's got the soft focus type of effect to it. Yeah. It's, it's, it looks like a red umbrella. It's like, what is she doing? <laughs> is she hanging out? Is she hanging out with a little girl? Is it a is he? She, is I, a he? Is, is, it I, looks like I a bald with, head under there, doesn't it? I, think, I like the mystery to it. I think it, it keeps you looking at the photo and thinking about it. I mean, but there's hair down here. I'm really confused. Doesn't that, that look like? Head. Doesn't that look like Mr. Clean's head? <laughs> and there's hair. Maybe they got a mullet attached to. It. Maybe it's a monk. That's just you yeah. know, guy on skateboard shot in bad light. That looks that's like a, something my grandma. Although that's you know, her house. back up for a, back up for a second. If she had been turning around, it would have been kind of cool. No. If she if she had been doing one of these. Hmm. No. It was still, that probably would have been better It'd be, it'd than be this. guy on skateboard shot in bad light with girl turning around looking at him. Um, bad angle. It will, Get low. If you're, yeah. you know, we, we've said this before on the grid. Flowers. You know what? You can't take pictures of flowers. All flowers' pictures look good. Well, most flowers' pictures look good. But flowers are good looking to, to begin with. And this, if you're going to have a picture of a flower, you better have a kick-ass angle and a kick-ass flower. You better have the best-looking flower that exists out there. This is not that flower. Are I don't we? think it's composed very well. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. All right. Antonio. Um, the car is cool. I mean, being an automotive photographer, I would have focused more on that. Um, it's Cobra. I enjoy those cars. Um, yeah, you're automotive, so what's... Yeah, I think, I think I would have definitely drawn more attention to the car. The border patrol thing again, I would, like, the wheels being cut off there on the bottom, kind of, I would have centered the car a little more, but I, I like how it's off to the side. It's nice, and it's giving you a sense of location. And shot at high noon. Yeah. Would you shot it at a different time of day, perhaps? Um, for, I mean, for... This one, it doesn't look too bad. I like how the shadows are coming across the car. It brings a little more to the car. Um, the black and white, I mean, I, I think I would have kept it color, okay. especially with cars. This one's, this, one, this one's pretty cool. Yeah. I enjoy this shot. This, this one's nice. definitely yeah. cool. it, You know what would be really cool about this? If it had a car driving down the road. <laughs> That'd be really cool, commercial, but commercial yeah, yeah, a penguin driving a car. 
But it, you feel being in this place. Uh huh. It's a good shot. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's the colors, shot. I mean, because it's got color to it, but it's got a lot of the snow and everything. Um, nicely composed. You kind of feel like you're, you know, you got a, a line there. I like it. Yeah. This one is weird. This one is too um, forced composition, first year of art school. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like there's a frame, right? So you want to use a frame within a frame kind of thing, but you're, now you're accenting something that's out of focus. Yeah. So. All right. Three. God, we might actually get through these. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. There's the desert shot again. The quick. There, is, and there you go. The walk up shot. Yeah. yeah, it's boring. You get out of the car, you take a look at it, you go, look, sand, click. Get in the car, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you just keep going. You know what it is, too? I mean, we, we say put a foreground element in there. You, you really put a foreground element in here. And it's, it's a little too high. It's, it's two thirds of the photo. Yeah. It's like, bam. And then all the interesting stuff, which are, could be the lines and the curves and everything that's out back here, um, all that stuff is, is secondary in the photo. I, I think also maybe if there was people in it to bring a sense of scale, maybe that would Good point. Help, help out a bit. Yeah, or yeah. penguin. Or penguin. I would have waited 20 minutes. If yeah. you're going to do this shot, I would have waited 20 minutes or an hour yeah, it's, to kind of get the contrail out of the way. Right? That's a plane. That's not a cloud. So it's this is the best of the three, but that sky's too blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did the F-22 with the sun. Mm -hmm. I think that looks good. But I know how much you dislike sun. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, got to the, you got to the right place. You hiked up there. It's, it's, uh, this is an uphill hike for about an hour. Um, it's a different view of it. You don't really see this view of Delicate Arch that often. But, yeah, that to me it's like, just cuts it off. Then this, radioactive land. Yeah, it's, eh. Everything's too saturated. And it, that, to me, looks like a filter, like a lens flare filter. It's almost too perfect, right? I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's radioactive. It's the, 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 the rocks are really, really orange. And they all look soft, too, a little bit, don't they? Eh, this is bridge. Everything looks soft in bridge. Uh, okay. Remember? It's, <laughs> it's, bridge doesn't make your photos look good. <laughs> All right. Mm, oh, my. Yeah. yeah so no. so this, is, this is taking a picture of someone else's art. Right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, someone else did this. This is on a wall or something like that. So you're taking a picture of somebody else's art. I don't, I don't think that's a really good way to go. And this... I like that it makes you that it makes you stop to look at it. You feel disconcerted, right? It that, feels like are you up or down? That's a space needle, right? Yeah. Is it? It looks like it. Yeah. So you're looking under the skirt of the space needle. Yes. Is, is it rotated the right way? Can it be rotated 180? Are we looking at it? I don't know. When you look up, there is no proper rotation. Do we like that better? Yeah. 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 So it is 180. <laughs> Check. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, it's probably better the other way around, but I don't know if that was intended or not. We wouldn't want to judge it on yeah. that. All right, last one. Oh, wait, didn't we see these yesterday? No, we didn't. Oh, I, I oh, did. You, oh, yesterday, I'm sorry. You probably would. No, no, I did his photo critique, I think. Whoa. Okay. Cute. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a nice portrait. I mean, I, you know what it is? I'm sure the person that they took this photo for is very very happy. He got a nice they got a nice portrait of themselves. Or her parents are are very very happy. She has um, a nice picture for Facebook. Yeah. And you know, and that's exactly what it is. It's it's a, it's a great Portrait for Facebook or something right. like that. Could be cute. You know what you got to do, though? I, and, you know, very flat light. 
there, there's, there's no sun behind them or anything like that, but you got to pull them off of the background too. Have, if you're going to shoot this stuff, have the people come away from the background so at least that background gets blurry because right now it's, you got all kinds of crap going on back there. Mm -hmm. But definitely a lot of potential. Yeah, at least there's not, you know, it's not harsh sunlight or anything like that. That could be shot for stock. That's, I think that that's pretty good execution of what you were trying to do there. Um, that'd, be, that'd be a good stock shot. Like I'd, I'd put that up in iStock Photo or something like that. Um, you, could probably make, you could probably make a bit of money on it. Not a lot of money. Your results may vary. Do we but, like a little better? <laughs> a little better with a vignette? Uh, no, I kind of like it without it, dude. I think Screw it you, good. I like it better with the vignette. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, I've seen this same shot executed brilliantly 50 other times. You know, so okay. that's a good point. Yeah. Because it, it's, I've seen it executed with a macro lens mm -hmm. and all this starts to blur out and I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. Th th this, this looks like you, you took yours and your wife's wedding bands and put them in a book that you had at home. All right. Cancel out of that one. And we got one more. So, well. so I, I, I think I did his photo critique yesterday, and this was for a store that was just opening up or something like that. Mm. Um, I said they were very happy with it. It's got, mm. you know, it's got that. It's definitely HDR. Yeah. It's a little much, and I'm sure the photographer's mom would buy it. Why oh, you gotta go talk about their mother, RC? Uh, but it's it's too it's too much. It's just yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's, little. It's over the edge. I, I I do too much. And I think it's the other photos much. are nice, though. I think I thought the other photos yeah. are on the way to something of interest. Oh yeah, I mean that's like I said, it's a, it's a nice portrait, that's a nice, I'm sure, I'm sure out. the parents of, uh, I'm sure the parents of yeah. these two people are very, very happy with the Quite photos. serviceable. Yep. Yeah, the, this one needs some, a little HDR love. Yeah. A little, a little, a little less HDR. <laughs> Alright, that's all of them. So guys, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully, um, oh thanks, uh, hopefully you guys, you know, it's, as you start to look at this stuff, I think I think you realize it's the same, Patterns. it's kind of the same critiques going over and over again. You know, it's time of day, subject, lighting, uh, they, they tend to kind of repeat themselves. Yep. All right, Antonio, thank you for coming. Let's give Antonio a round thank of applause, everybody. Thanks so much, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>